All right, so let's take a look at how the scissors work in Illustrator CS6. So again, we come on in, we can draw a shape, all right? And uh, you know, we think of a scissors, we think of cutting, and that's exactly what our scissors do. Now, the one thing that we need to know about our scissors though, is that they only cut on an anchor point. So we come on in uh, to our eraser, and we can see that we have our scissors right there. So what we can do with our scissors is we can come on in, we need to hit an anchor, we click, we click. Then what we can see now is how I've separated this shape out. I can come on in, grab my black arrow, and we can move and we can see that we've cut this. Now, again, with our scissors that we need to cut along an anchor point. So let's take a look at what happens if I try to cut on a non-anchor point. And you'll see this, this little um, one that comes up. So if I come and I click along the path up, oh, and I'm wrong, it did, it cut along the path. And what happens when I cut along the path is it created an anchor point. So there we have it. So now I can click and start moving things across. But really to get a clean cut, we want to work directly with the um, right cut on an anchor point. Now what's great about Illustrator too, is you can edit undo, edit undo, and uh, it's Apple Z, um, Command Z on the Mac. Um, and again, you can always come on in and take a look at what that short keyboard shortcut is. And in Illustrator, you can go back very, very far. Now let's take a look at some of these other options within the scissors. Um, if we come on into our eraser tool, you know, we can click and cut through that way. Um, but again, what Illustrator is doing when it does this, and if we click and take a look, it's recreating the path and the anchor points. So if I was to zoom in, what we'll find, what you'll find, as you work in Illust as you work in Photoshop, when you erase, you're erasing pixels. Okay, um, what Illustrator does when it erases is that it's recreating paths and anchors because it thinks in paths and anchors. So sometimes you might not be totally happy with what happens when you work with this. Um, but all right, so let's take a look. Let's do one more. So if I was to click this and run it across, we can see that it creates um, new anchors and such. Let's take a look at the knife tool. Um, these three tools that are put in here together, we can grab our knife tool and our knife tool is gonna work in a similar kind of way. We can click and we can slice. All right, hold on, I'm sorry. Let me get one that's selected. Click, slice. We need to have something selected. Click. So there we have it. Thanks for listening. Now, sometimes you might feel with the knife, you might like it a little bit better um, because you can take it, you can kind of move it around a little bit differently um, and have a little bit more control of it. So, but experiment, have a good time with this um, and see what you can get to happen. Voila, lots of fun, lots of fun. One more thing, I'm just gonna finish this guy up. I can select it, move them out, select it, move it out. Now you can see that I'm using my uh, black selection tool. I come on in, you know, grab one point, move this down a little. There's a lot of different possibilities um, within this. So thanks so much, I'll, well, I'll end that one. This video here, we just went over um, the scissors, we went over the eraser and the knife tool in Illustrator CS6.